and welcome. I am Zombie Kitty and uh, I originally wasn't going to do this video. <laughs> um, so for those who don't know, this will be up on the same day that I'm recording this. But it is the 14th of November 2021. Last year at around 8am UK time, the YouTube channel Unisarnas ended. They had their 12 hour live stream and at 8am they deleted their channel. For those who don't know what Unisarnas is, it was a channel that Crank Gameplays and Markiplier started. They started it up on the 13th of November in American time the year before and their goal was to have it only exist for one year and then a year later they were going to delete the channel and there were videos up every day of them just doing anything they could think of even if it was stupid or like interesting or just completely mad um there was a video up every day i think they the channel came out at the best time and worst time. Worst time for them, because obviously lockdowns and everything happened and the original plans that they had couldn't be done. But I think it was the best time for us, the community. Because obviously, again, lockdown and the mental to hold that had on a lot of people. And I think this was the best thing that some people needed. Um, I will talk about it more after this, but I was kind of debating on reacting to these videos. So both Ethan and Mark have uploaded videos and I think they were uploaded about midnight American time. So for us, I think that for us that was about 8am this morning. Um, it didn't actually show up for me for a while, which is why I'm only just getting around to it now. So this might be up quite late, but <clears throat> I thought it would be quite interesting to um, react to these. So Mark's one, I think, was uploaded first and then Ethan's was second, I think. But I, I think it was like a short gap between each other. But how I'm going to do this is I'm going to react to both of them back to back and then talk about both of them afterwards. Because I think from a couple of the visuals I've seen on social media, I think they're quite similar. So I'll react to them back to back and then talk about them afterwards. So we're going to start off with Ethan's. I don't know if it's supposed to be quiet or not. It looks really nice though. Okay. The visuals are really nice. Like the camera works really good as well. Where are you going? Oh, he's got a rose. To picture of you. down seems like he's in the middle of nowhere where is this oh no way they still got it wait what is it it has to be yeah it is Oh wow, I haven't seen that in a long time. I 
And I know for people who, who don't know the channel, it won't mean anything to you. But God, they still have it. God, there's the ticking. Oh, we haven't heard that in a very long time. Yeah, there's still the ticking. It's going away. It's, um, yeah? It's been a year now. Yep. Since we ended Unisonics. Which is weird because mm. it doesn't feel like that long. But if I'm honest, it doesn't really feel like it even happened at all in a way, you know? It was just so different than anything that I had been a part of. And looking back on that year, it's weird that we even did it at all, I think. Because when people ask me about it and when people ask how I did that, how we did that, I don't even really know how to answer because I've never been a part of something like that before. And I don't think I'll ever be a part of something like that again. I don't know how we did it <laughs> because looking back, it doesn't seem like we should have been able to, you know, make the videos that we made in the time that we made them I don't know how we had time to do anything else. I mean, we didn't really have time to do anything else. But I think when I think about that year, um, the thing that I think about the most, I think it's just being together. Because mm -hmm. over this past year, a lot has happened and I'm working on something that I've never done anything like this before. Oh, the, the tool. between that what I'm doing about? and Unisonis is that this time I'm alone. And not getting to share that, it's, um, it's affected me a lot more than I thought it would. And I'm proud of, of what I'm doing now, but not being able to share that is, I didn't think that that's something that I was, that I would miss as much as I do. And looking back at all we did, and like we said from the beginning, the, the videos themselves were videos, you know? Like it, it was special because it was all going away. And it was special for the audience because they got to watch it in real time. They got to watch the beginning, the middle, all through the end, and they got to watch it die. But the thing that they didn't get to experience was everything in between. You know, they saw mm -hmm. the videos that like we made. Planning and stuff. But they didn't see everything that we did. They didn't see the late nights of staying up mm -hmm. editing. They didn't see us waiting up until midnight on the 15th to release the channel. They didn't get to see how it impacted all of us. And they didn't get to see a really special side of what we did. And I'm really glad in a way that they didn't get to see that because people can always try and pretend like they know what it was like to make Unis Honest but I don't think that anybody will ever know what it was actually like because what we made was really special. And I don't think that anybody will ever be able to do that again. And I don't think that I'll ever be able to do that again. And part of that is horrifying knowing that Unisonis might just be the best thing that I've ever made and the best thing that I've ever been a part of.
but I think with the end of the stream and the end of the channel and going through this whole year, I've realized that I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with it being the best thing that I've ever made. And I'm really proud that it's the best thing that I've ever made. And I won't ever forget it. So thank you for being the best thing that I've been a part of. And um, just know that even though you're never coming back and even though you're only going to live on in the memories and everything like that, just know that You're definitely the favorite thing that I've ever been a part of. And I wouldn't have wanted to do it with anybody else. So I'll see you next year. You're not going anywhere. But um, I'm doing good. I miss you. No, I miss it too. I'll see you next year. <sighs> Hate to bring this up, but don't make it jokey now. Joking, please. So I know I said, <sighs> I know I said I was going to do this back to back, but actually, I have a few things I want to bring up. <laughs> so, firstly, yeah, okay, I was told bring tissues, it's going to be emotional. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I. The reason for the end that I said don't make it jokey, don't add humour in is because and Mark's not the one I'm subscribed to, I'm subscribed to Ethan that's why I wanted to do that one first I forgot to mention that as well but I always feel like with Mark's videos when he tries to do serious skits or stuff like that like the Dark Apply stuff it always ends up in a joke and I kind of was a bit worried that Ethan was gonna do that I am a little worried about Mark's one if I'm completely honest but I don't I don't really want this to be jokey because it's been so serious throughout the whole video and I'm glad it kept that tone the cinematography and the visuals were amazing um, the coffin's back, so I'm guessing that just stays there. Which, I don't know, I kind of... I, I don't know where this is, I don't know where they filmed this. But I, I weirdly... If that is what it's going to be, which I, I don't know. But there's, I don't know, there's something kind of beautiful about that. <laughs> like, they've always got that memory there. Like, it's not going anywhere. And they can always come back to it and be reminded of it. Um, the whole thing of him saying, you know, this is the stuff you didn't see, like the planning and the editing and the long nights. And he said that, you know, people can pretend they know what that's like, but they don't know. And I can contribute to that in a sense to doing YouTube in general. Like, yes, what you see is me on camera. Hi. I'm filming, this is the final result that you're going to see. What you're not going to see is me editing, warming up, setting stuff up, thinking, okay, and even sometimes, okay, what am I going to do today? Because I need to get a video out. Like, that's the side that you don't see. At the same time, yes, nothing like Unis Arnas had, had ever been done before. And... It can be replicated, it can be copied, but it won't be the same. Like, that's been done now. That idea's been done now. 
and it, it what he was saying felt very similar to what he said in his um vlog the day after the 12 hour scream where he was saying you know Uda Sanis has done now like that idea is done now like you can do it again but it won't be the same um and it won't feel the same so I can contribute in terms of yes I understand the editing side of it the planning and all that lot but actually at the same time I can't contribute to the same length because again I've never done something like that I do two videos a week and that's it but doing a video every single then uh, every single day to then just delete the channel is something obviously I've never done I never will do um because I get too attached to stuff like this I get too attached to like work and stuff that I've done so it's not something I'll ever do so in a sense I can understand but in a sense obviously we can't understand we can't yeah, well, like he said, you can't pretend you know what that's been like. And he's completely correct. It's interesting that obviously he's doing the tour, which I think it starts in a week's time. He's been doing a countdown on his Twitter. But there's obviously the tour coming up. And in a weird sense, I, I obviously I can't say, oh, he's wrong, that he's not alone. But I get what he's saying of like, it is going to be him doing that tour. Like, Mark's not going to be there. Mark's not going to be with him, joining him, or as far as I know. So I get what he's saying, like, he's doing something huge again, and that's terrifying to do that on his own. I think he'll do great, but obviously you're going to have those nerves and worry beforehand. Another thing I forgot to mention is obviously before he starts talking, the ticking sound was back. We haven't heard that in a very long time. I was like, oh, don't break down now. <laughs> there was a lot of times where I was like, don't just cry, don't cry. Because <laughs> um, again, like, seeing the coffin, hearing the ticking noise, seeing even just the black and white roses, that may not mean a lot to people who didn't who didn't know what Unisanus was, who don't know what that channel is. But to people like me who, you know, I remember when Mark and Ethan first started hinting at it on their um, social medias. And originally people were like, oh, it's Blank Gameplays and Darkplayer. And I remember that, like being on Tumblr and Twitter and stuff and being like, oh, I wonder what they're doing. And then seeing that introduction video um, I'm pretty sure I did an article on it actually or something um, talking about it and my prediction of what the channel was going to be. So I was there right from the beginning all the way to the end. So for me this means quite a lot. But obviously I do understand that for people who don't know what Unisarnas is that's going to be like okay, cool. <laughs> He's talking to an empty coffin. So... But, so I do get that, but at the same time, like, it's weird hearing that again and seeing that again. Okay, let's do Mark's one. This is half the time, which I'm a bit confused about. But let's do Mark's one. So this is Markiplier's Unisarnus video. Let's go. The lighting's a lot darker this time, so I'm guessing... It's later in the day. Ticking sounds back. Oh, this gives off a really weird vibe. I don't like it. Hey, man. Um, I guess it's been a year. That's kind of weird. Oh, it's the outro! <laughs> Just trying to think of what I was going to say. I was trying to think about uh, whether this year was as involved as last year. And, uh, yeah, I was having trouble thinking about it. Because I did a lot this year, definitely. But 
Back to the coffin we go. I say I did as much. I don't think I'll ever say I did as much in a year as uh, we did together. So I don't know if that's a good metric of comparison. That's not why I'm here. You know. For some reason, in my head, always when I think of Unisonis, is like the cups, the cup stacking. I think of like encrypted <laughs> style. Oh, 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 that was uh, yeah, it's good. I miss it. Yeah, I miss it a lot. Uh. Yeah, I just, I just miss it. I think it was just about the coolest thing I've ever done. And just hearing how people say how meaningful when this honest was to them when they saw it and uh, when they saw it get deleted and how that like impacted them. I've had so many people talk to me about it and to say what a what a like inspiration it was and I you know and all that is true it's all is true I, I think that's like what we wanted to say and, and we did say it and we said it well but also I just I just make just making the videos I've done like a TV show this year and I did, I did space and it was great and it was hard and it was hard work, but also, you know, it's, oh, it wasn't like when this was. Uh, anyway, I'm not here to get mopey. Not here to get mopey. I'm here to just like, you know, tell you I'm, I miss it, but I'm doing good, you know. I learned a lot. Both during and after it, I learned a lot. And I think it took a year of, you know, reflecting to get to the point where I really appreciated every part of it. But anyway. Why the focus, the current angle change? I'll, uh, I'll never forget, and uh, I'm going to be coming back every year, so just uh, don't think I'll ever have forgotten it. Well, the ticking's back. Okay. So, um, I don't know why I'm so orange. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> okay, let's tell me if I that and talk about this properly. So, it is interesting that with Ethan and mark the difference between how they emotionally approach this because I feel like Ethan's a bit more he's more okay with showing his emotions on camera whereas Mark's a bit more um, restrained with it I don't know if that's the right word to use but like he won't like be upset on camera or doesn't really like it but with Ethan he's a bit more open about it than what's interesting is that obviously mark it kept looking like he was trying not to cry 
And even he went like, okay, let's not be mopey. Um, whereas Ethan's a bit more, a bit more relaxed in that kind of um, way. I did not expect the outro music. Um, sorry, the uh, the Unisanus theme to be in there. <laughs> Like, and I don't know why I didn't expect it, I guess because it's been gone for a year I didn't really expect them to like bring back all of like the staples of the channel It's like again the ticking, you had the coffin um, I did notice that Mark had a white rose whereas Ethan had a black rose um, So if you don't know, Ethan's character was Unus who wore a black waistcoat and blazer and everything Arnus was Mark's character and he wore white um, also I want to bring up as well I do actually have like the black waistcoat and tie and everything but I I'm sorry I couldn't be bothered to wear it but I've got this one instead so this was the last jumper that um, there we go this was the last jumper that they sold there you go, so you've got the time, the last time stamp on there, and then this is the the first one. Um, but I, I didn't really notice that in the previous video, is that they have obviously the black, black and white roses. I didn't expect to hear the music again, um, and it's interesting to sort of see how they emotionally approached each video and I kind of get now why Mark's video was so short is because obviously Finn's doing his tour but I think from memory aside from joining Mark on his tour this is the first like big thing next to Inasanas that he's done whereas Mark has obviously had like Date, Heist or Markiplier he's got the new one in space like he just mentioned uh, he's just filmed Eggs of Sleep which is based on his podcast um his previous podcast sorry he's done tours like he's he's kind of used to those sort of big things but obviously Unisarnas like I've mentioned is still it was still very different from what they'd previously done but I feel like Mark's a lot more experienced in that way of like doing these big tours and shows and stuff and everything whereas Ethan's not as ex not as experienced as in hasn't done as much as Mark in that sense. Um, so obviously his, his his approach will be different, like his emotional state will be different. So I do kind of get why Mark's video was shorter because he didn't really have too much to say just because he does have more experience in that sense. But obviously Eunice Arnas was very different. I think for me, I, I don't really know what else to add. I, I did a video last year saying all my thoughts on Unisanus, which I'll put in the description. It'll be at the end of this video. I don't really know what to add to it. It Just like everyone else, like this was the best channel that could have come about at the time. Again, because of lockdown, I had been shielding because of my disability and COVID risk. So I, I think I was shielded for about 10 months out of the year. It was a very long time. But I had that to look forward to every day. Um, and it was always exciting to be like, oh, what are they going to do now? What are they going to do now? Um, and even my predictions of what the channel was going to be was completely off. <laughs> like, I thought it was going to be really interesting and, like, really philosophical and that kind of thing. And then the first video they uploaded the next day was like, we cooked breakfast with sex toys. I was like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> hang on, maybe it's a good idea that this channel does get deleted in a year. <laughs> if, if that's the first video you're doing. Um, but I, I think my favourite ones, yeah, my favourite videos was they played a game of Mad Libs and then ran that through Google Translate. That was the most funniest thing ever um i really liked they also did like a bit more serious and like somber um videos 
So A Conversation Under the Stars, I think was near the end, or well, I want to say the halfway mark, um, where they literally went out in the middle of nowhere at night, filmed Stars in the Sky, and just had conversations, really, a heart to heart. And it was really, really sweet. It was really, really nice to just see them sort of be calm and not be personal, but just, yeah, have a heart to heart with each other. Um, and the visuals were really nice of that as well, because they did show what pictures they took and they were gorgeous. So they had, I think that was what was so special about Unisarnas as well, is that they had a mixture of, you know, those kind of videos as well as really silly, mad ones. Um, but then they also had some interesting ones. They learned how to, like, do the fire breathing tricks. Um, the pepper spray one was chaotic. <laughs> yes, they got hit with pepper spray. It was uh, horrible. <laughs> I think that's... Oh, no, their most famous one is the pea sauna. <laughs> Which, no, I'm not going to explain. If you don't know what pea sauna is, then you need, <laughs> you need to look it up. But that was one of the... Yeah, there's all these like memorable things about the channel, but I think, and I, I think I've said this already in a tweet, is that what it showed the most is that, especially with lockdown, this really highlighted it, is that there's a way around everything and life will get in the way, it will throw obstacles at you and you will have to deal with those obstacles and that's how it is there's a way around everything though there's a way to do things and to just take a problem and go okay how do we fix this and i feel like that's what unis Arnus represented as well they obviously they they probably had plans before lockdown lockdown then happened and they thought okay we still need to do this what do we do now okay, well, we're going to do this and this. And they just got on with it. Um, and yes, obviously, we're seeing the final results in form of the videos, but there was obviously a lot of hard work, probably a lot of stress involved as well. But it really did show that they were like, okay, here's a problem. How do we fix it? And let's continue on. Because um, the channel still needs to keep going. Um and videos still need to be uploaded and I think that's what that's what Unisan is kind of meant to me so much for me <laughs> originally I was going to do a video going off from my thoughts one last year but I even said on Twitter like I don't think I have anything else to add and here we are I guess <laughs> this is going to be a really long video I mean just like everyone else I'm sure who watched the video who watched the channel like it meant a lot to me and I think they came around at the best time really and I, I think you can only see that retro retrospectively so at the time it was probably really annoying but actually looking back they probably did think well actually you know not only was it worth it but I it's what everyone needed at the time I also apologize that I wasn't talking much throughout that video throughout the videos I kind of wanted to let them speak um and I was kind of nervous of like interrupting anything or taking away any sort of emotion so I do apologize that I was quite quiet throughout the videos that's not usually what I tend to do um so I do apologize for that yeah I don't really have much else to add I will put because I did do like a my thoughts on the channel video uh, from last year I will put that in at the end of the video and in the description as well um but yeah I don't have much else to add really this was emotional <laughs> um but yeah this was so both of them are called Memento Mori which was like one of the taglines of the channel um this was both Ethan and Mark's videos um, looking back on Unisarnas, I will put the original videos in the description below so you guys can go off and watch it for yourselves. But I will say take care guys and see you all soon. Bye!